In news around the state, we have local reaction to a Supreme Court ruling involving California pro-life centers. Capitol Bureau reporter Cody Leibowitz reports. Just celebrating. At Sacramento Life Center, you will no longer see state-mandated abortion information signs up in their lobby. The minute we could, we took them down. Executive Director Marie Leatherby is keeping those signs in her office at the Crisis Pregnancy Center. For now. I'd love to uh, actually shred them or burn them if I could. On Tuesday, the Supreme Court ruled in a 5-4 to four decision California's Reproductive Fact Act is likely unconstitutional. In 2015, California enacted the law which said those centers had the post signs and notices in waiting rooms about free or low-cost access to prenatal care and abortions. Also, centers not medically licensed had to disclose that under the law. Assembly members David Chu and Autumn Burke had authored the law. The message we send today is you shot one over the bow, we're going to shoot three over the bow. We are going to protect women's health care, we're going to protect women's rights, and you're going to have to do better than this decision. It is an effort. Assembly member Jim Patterson in 2015 offering a warning on the FACT Act. He spoke to us on Tuesday. This is not a vindication for me. This is a celebration for my kids and my grandkids that life really does matter. But the court's ruling Tuesday sends the case back to the lower courts. The State Department of Justice said their lawyers are closely monitoring their options before deciding what to do next. Opponents of the law say it's time to move on. It's not worth it to go back to this court and to continue wasting California government taxpaying resources on defending a ultimately flawed and doomed law. Some in the legislature say otherwise. We'll look at all legislative and legal options to continue to ensure uh, that Roe v. Wade does not uh, continue to be diminished by, by this court or future courts. Cody Lee Wood, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.